Um, green screen setup through Zoom is pretty simple. It's very limited and I don't use it for the meetings because I want to be able to do more. But basically all you need is a green background. It'll actually work with any solid color background. It's better with the seamless green background. So here's the webcam and I have a pop-up green screen background. I got it from, uh, I think it was Elgato makes the pop-up one. There's also one made by a company called Web Around, which just slides on the back of your chair. I have one of those in Linwood. And they work really well. You know, they're easy to, this one just pops up. The other one just slides on your chair and then you can key out the background and swap in any picture. And that's the basic uh, zoom green screen which just lets you swap in a picture. You can't really do anything elaborate with it. If you want to get more elaborate, you have to actually use a third-party program. I'm using vMixer, and you would just set whatever app you're in to look at that app. So you could do it with TeamViewer, Zoom, or Skype to look at a third-party app. And then you'd go into the third-party app and add the camera, and then the background you want to swap out for. I'll show you that here. This camera I have is not great. It's not, not HD. It's a 720 camera. Okay, so once you add the camera in, um, and then we're going to add the um, background, we're going to swap in behind the green, behind the person for the green screen. Let me go in there. Okay, so the first thing is now we have a background and we have the subject. So we're going to go to the subject. And we're going to key out the green screen. So you just take the eyedropper, get a sampling of green, and you can slide it up until all the green is keyed out. And then you're going to lay the subject on layer one, and the background will be on the base layer and it'll show up because you've keyed out and you've cropped in, uh, cropped out all the background except for the person. You really just need the green screen around where the, the subject is. And, and depending on how much they're gonna be moving would determine how much of the green screen you need to show. So it's pretty simple once you crop the person out. Green screen works really well when you have like professional lighting, like your normal office lighting doesn't work great. You may have like light spots or hot spots on the screen, so you get some pixelation. But once it's keyed out, then you can put the subject in over top of any background, and it's that simple. And then once everything is set, the vMixer and other programs, uh, you can send your display out to an external and then any program that's looking at that external display will take what you have and send it out which is pretty cool if you have any questions just give me a call i can walk you through it the program is pretty cool the online tutorials are phenomenal that's how i wound up with the program they can show you how to do everything